going to try some electro nickel plating I've got no no idea if this is going to work um, I don't think I've got the right equipment yet but we'll see so uh, I've got myself five volts on those I have myself some Sarsen's vinegar now it says that this is 5% acidity I think I need 20% acidity I don't know how I'll get this to 5% I don't know but I'm going to just try it with a little bit see what happens so let's put a bit of that in here I'll try with about half of that now I've got some nickel oh this smells just like a brewery now this is a uh, nickel I've got from Bulgaria actually off eBay so um I think I'm going to use so you, you, have to, you have to create the solution first um, and you do that by putting a voltage through um, this acid so uh, it does actually matter which is positive and which is negative it does matter but when you're creating the um, plating solution it doesn't so I'm going to one in there and put the other one in there I've got this five five volts let's see whether I get any bubbling let's zoom in a little bit oh. is there any bubbles happening well, none that I can see in the first instance so I'm pushing out five volts at um, let me just have a look Um, there is some voltage going through there, probably not a lot, a lot. I'm going to whoop the voltage up. This is just DC off my bench power supply. I think all I can do is uh, 0.4 of an amp on this. Let's uh, put the voltage up, see whether that helps. We could be all I can get. I think there are some bubbles appearing. I think there's a better way of doing this. You can add salt to the water as well. So, um, well, that's something happening there. So I basically need to leave this going until um, the water turns bluey. Ah, now I've got bubbles coming off it. Um, it's off the um, negative electrode. So just down there. Now have bubbles. Right, so I'm going to leave that going and see what happens. Maybe leave it for a couple of hours. Okay, so that's bubbling well, but you know, I want to uh, try and speed this up a little bit. So the guy that I saw do this um, said to put some salt in. So as I'm only as I'm not using the right concentration of vinegar as well, um, I'm gonna just add a bit of salt and see whether that helps matters. Don't know how much I've just added some salt, table salt. So salt and vinegar. At least I can put it on my chips if nothing else. So let's just uh, mix that salt in a little bit. Not a huge amount, but who knows if it will help. Okay. Well, that's fizzing a bit better. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay. That's definitely fizzy more now. 
So I'm generating generating something. There's a reaction going on there. If it's just uh, hydrogen and oxygen, I don't know. But it's only coming off the uh, negative pole, electrode, whatever it is. But uh, oh, definitely going now. So I started this off at about half past four. I'm going to leave it for an hour and uh, see what I come back with after that. Okay, so there's definitely a change there now. So this has been going for about two hours. Um, as you see, it's definitely um, changed liquids to change colour. So uh, that's pretty good. So um, what I'm going to do is take one of these um, out. Take this one out. It's going to be positive. But I don't want to... Uh, there's a little bit of um, substance on there, but this is going to be keep this one spare, and then the other one I've put a positive on. So I think I'm supposed to have positive. There you go, so there's positive. And then I've decided to do, I've got a shiny two pence piece to begin with. Doesn't want to focus at all, right. So let's take that in there. And I think just for a few minutes, about 15 seconds, I believe, you should start to see something. Now, I've, I think you're supposed to polish these. You're supposed to polish your donor method, donor um, part up. Um, it's definitely fizzing there. Can you see that? Hopefully, if I've got this working the right way, it should be depositing something on it now. Oh, yeah, it's only going to work. So I'm told that the one side... I think I'll leave it in there for a little bit. One side will play it better than another side, which is why you're supposed to uh, move it around. Definitely working. Yes, yeah, so I'm supposed to um, polish this and then uh, put acetone on it to get rid of any grease, but I, I haven't done that because I don't really want to play with acetone. Um, but this is definitely doing something. Oh, look at that. That was copper a few minutes, a few seconds ago. Uh, let's move it around a tad. fact you can see well, it still looks quite coppery on camera there you go silver and the little bit of copper where it's not a little bit of copy there that's not uh, plated so let's put that in again I'll leave that in there for a few minutes but wow that's successful um, so that's how you do nickel plating. Very easy, to be honest. Low voltage. Don't know what to do with this uh, this material, but uh, I'll keep it for the next one, I think. So there you go, um, one copper plated steel coin and one nickel over copper plated steel coin. I'm amazed at how easy it was to do that. Um, needs a bit of polishing on that side I think, but uh, yeah, amazingly easy to do. 
Oh, I really need to repaper my desk. Um, so uh, my nickel nickel plating. I uh, just wanted to show you this. This is a um, an old bike light, I think, that I bought from a, a antiques place, and uh, it cost me ten pounds. And uh, it wasn't like this when I bought it. Um, I don't have any video of it when it was new. But uh, you might have seen it on some other videos, just on the side of the desk, just here. But uh, this is my new version. I stripped it down, um, repainted it. See, so it's got a couple of little ding dings on the front, but uh, I'm really pleased with it. It was rusty and it was chipped, but I did re-nickel plate some of the nickel things in it. So uh, I replated uh, this nickel around here part of the, um, the the light magnifier I replated that and then uh, promptly it flicked out over my cave and it took me about three days to find it I replated that bit these are all very rusty so they're not perfect but you could definitely um, improve them and I've, dis I've discovered to my amazement you could still get these these batteries that it, that it was made for it's made for it 4.5 volt batteries you can still buy them um, and I also changed the bulb in it to a LED light bulb so uh, just just quite happy with this this is something that I've wanted to do for ages to uh, refurb something and um, I managed to do it with the nickel plating that I learnt which was a lot easier than I thought so there we go, it's a working, an LED version of a torch that was probably as old as I am.